The California prankster who produced an internet video in which he posed as an American hostage who's beheaded in Iraq says that he was making a social statement. It's shocking to be sure, but could he face criminal charges for it? Bob Massey is a Fox News legal analyst. Mercedes Cohen is a criminal defense attorney. Uh, let's start Hi, ladies Paige. first. Hello, hey, Bob. Paige. Hello, Mercedes. How are you? Hi, Mercedes. Uh, I, I think we're all in better shape than this guy is right now. This fake beheading <laughs> Mercedes, can this guy be prosecuted? I, frankly, I don't think so. Look, uh, from a moral standpoint, I think it's morally reprehensible. But setting that aside, it's a parody page, and we have parodies that, that are protected by the First Amendment. No, no authorities were called. No one called the media. No one called uh, intelligence. No one did anything to say to file a false report. If he had filed a false report, let's say, let's say that he had called and said so-and-so, or had a friend call the authorities and say he went to Iraq, he's on business, he was abducted, and they start a legal proceeding then, of course then he would be prosecuted. Well, it was picked up by the media, actually, it was picked up by the media, but then as, the, as people in the media were trying to get confirmation, that's when it started falling apart. Bob, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I respectfully disagree in this particular case. I think that the First Amendment was never based on fraud, never based on misleading. This is the epitome of somebody who is self-basically promoting himself on something that undermines the troops, undermines the government, and the First Amendment was not designed for that. He basically has perpetrated a fraud, disseminated the information to whatever agencies that he could possibly do, and that should never, ever be permitted, even though one may say you have the right to protest uh, the war in whatever capacity you want. This 